Hello and welcome to RPG Raspberry Pi Girls channel. Today we will be showing you how to build a home NAS system. This is my NAS. This is my Raspberry Pi and this is my X335 power management board. This is my switch and here is my NAS board and this is my 3.5 inches hard drive. This is my NAS. It has a Raspberry Pi, a UPS with two batteries and a fan, an NAS board, and a 2.5 inches hard drive. It looks totally fine, right? But unfortunately, I couldn't find it a case at the market. Next, I'll show you how to assemble my NAS. These are all the supplies to build the NAS. So first I am going to grab the NAS board and grab these screws and this. I'm going to put it underneath over here and then screw this on top. This, these screws are to mount the Raspberry Pi. Keep doing it until, keep doing it four times. Like this. The NAS boards are stackable, so that means you could stack them as many times as you want. Next, we're going to grab these screws and put them right here. These are to keep the NA. put the raspberry pi here you will see it is blocking this area so you can't put it in there so first we have to do the screws oh well thanks for bringing that up so we are going to put this right here and we are going to twist it right in Like that. Why don't you give it a try? Okay. Now we are going to attach the Raspberry Pi to the NAS. It Right here. Um, I thought we were gonna do this stuff. <laughs> that fan. <laughs> Did I do it? You should put one side on one side. Next, we're going to put it right here. After this, we are going to put on the case. So now we finished this, 
and we are going to put it right here and we are going to slide it in So if the hole is kind of blocked by one of the parts of the cases, then make sure you push it a little. Now we are going to put these cables over here. If it doesn't fit, that means you're putting it in the wrong way. And then we are going to um, use this cable and connect it. That my, NA, that my NAS is very sturdy. Next, I will show you how to install Open Media Vault in system into my Raspberry Pi and config. Now I am going to burn the Raspberry Pi imager. So first I'm going to choose OS and choose the Raspberry Pi OS Lite. And I'm going to choose my micro SD card for the storage and I'm going to click right and I'm going to click yes. Since the writing takes a long time after it finishes, I'm going to remove the micro SD card and put it into the Raspberry Pi and power it on. So now I'm going to install Open Media Vault to a Raspberry Pi. First, I'm going to log in. Then I'm going to copy the get update. And then while that is loading, I'm going to copy the third one because the second one, the get upgrade one, takes too long. Then I'm going to paste that. And then I'm going to copy the sudo reboot and then paste that. After a little while, then you will sign back in. And then now I'm going to copy this one. It's very long. And then press enter. This one will take 10 to 15 minutes. That and it's just going to keep loading.
So now I am going to do the config. So first I am going to log in. And then I'm going to go into disks. The first one is my hard drive, which is three gigabytes. The second one is my micro SD card, which is 32 gigabytes. I'm going to go to file system. And then these two are my micro SD cards split into two parts. And then the bottom one is my hard drive. I am going to mount this. And then I'm going to create two users. The first one is going to be RPG1. And then the email is going to be something random. As long as you can remember it. Mm -hmm. And then the password is going to be very simple. Well, for now, as an example. And then I'm going to press save. And then I'm going to create another one called RPG2. The second version. And it's going to be bbb at gmail.com. And I'm going to make the password also very simple. And save. And I'm going to create a shared folder called pictures and then I am going to choose the hard drive and then I am going to make it to the number three administrator read and write users read and write others no access and then I'm going to click save and then I'm going to check the privileges and then RPG1 is going to be read and write and then RPG2 is read only. And I'm going to save that. Then I'm going to go to FTP. You better apply. And enable. And I'm going to go to shares. And click add. And click the share folder with this pictures. And press save. And then I'm going to go into SMB. And do the same thing. Enable save. Shares. Share folder, pictures, and click save. Same thing for FTP. Since I forgot to save. And then now I am going to apply. Wait, on FTP, don't you need to press shares and then do the thing? We already did. See, look. Oh. Well. And then now I am going to apply the configuration changes. It will take a long time since it's more than one thing. Like 30 seconds. Yeah, like 30 seconds. Is it done yet? Give it some time now. Is it done yet? Almost done. It says, please wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it done yet? No. Okay, so we are just going to wait a little bit more. Please don't tell me this is going to take like an hour. I don't think so. Oh. After this, we are going to try going on to pictures on every device. And remember, RP only RPG1 can add or delete files. RPG2 can only read. So now since the NIS is all ready, we can, we can go ahead and upload some photos. First, I'm going to go to the file menu and click Site Manager. And then I am going to create a new site called NIS. And I'm going to make my host, my ad, my host address. And then I'm going to type my user, which is RPG1. Then I'm going to type my password and click Connect. And then I can go to pictures and then I can select all of these and throw them in here and then you can see they're right here and then I can also delete them too. Oh and you could also save them. 
Mm -hmm, if I wanted to. Now we are going to try and SMB. So now I am in the area and I'm going to go into pictures and you can see they're all here just like that and then I can delete one of them if I wanted like that and then, and then next we can try it on some different devices so now I'm going to use my iPad to access I'm going to press the plus and press NAS then I go on to the host name my IP address one and then mine is one nine two one six eight one one eight four and then I'm just going to connect it as RPG two then type in the password and then connect we don't have to do yet and then press save I already typed in the IP address and then go on to pictures. Ooh, I'm just going to. Can you delete them? Well, yeah, maybe I should try. I mean, the things that I don't like. It says error, access denied. It says access denied because it doesn't have permission. So we're going to need to go back on to the open media file and let RPG2 access. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> so now we can try it on the Android tablet. So I'm going to click add network storage. I can, you can see I can choose FTP server or network drive SMB. I'm just going to choose S SMB and I'm going to wait for it to look for a network drive. You can see it says Raspberry Pi. I can click that and then type my username, which is RPG1. And then I'm going to type my password and then click add. And then I want to go to pictures, and you can see I can see any of these like this, like that. And then, since I'm in my RPG one, since it allows me to delete them, I can just select like two of these or have as much as I want, and I can trash them. Oh my goodness, you just trashed it! And then you can see it's still there. Mm -hmm. Well, good job. Here's some coconut water. Ooh. So now I'm going to use my Mac OS to access pictures. So first I'm going to click go on finder. And then I'm going to press connect to server. Then press connect. Now I'm on pictures. So I am probably using Raspberry RPG too, so I cannot delete anything. And then press delete. And it says operation can't be completed because you don't have permission to access some of the items. So I cannot delete anything on Raspberry Pi on um, RPG too. Wow, that is so cool. In today's video, we showed you how to assemble an NAS, install Open Media Vault, do the configuration, and lastly, share files on your FTP or SMB using your Windows 10, Android, Mac OS, or iOS. Next time, we will show you how to build a web server using a Raspberry Pi so you can have your own website. Thanks for watching, and subscribe and thumbs up. <laughs>